Ankylosing spondylitis, or AS for short, is a form of arthritis which can cause your neck, lower back and buttocks to feel painful, tender and stiff. In some people, it can also affect the shape of the spine. While it is not a common condition, it can affect anyone, young or old, male or female. It is more common in men and is more likely to start at a relatively young age, probably in the late teens or early twenties. Ankylosing means fusing together and spondylitis means inflammation of the spine, so the name ankylosing spondylitis describes how inflammation of the spine in AS can lead to fusion of the bones. If untreated, AS can also lead to new bone formation in your spine so that your vertebrae, which are the individual bones stacked one on top of the other in your spine, become fused together and lose their ability to move. Over time, this can cause your spine to become rigid and curved, giving a bent forward posture, which is known as kyphosis. It's important to note though that not everyone with AS will develop a kyphosis. Since AS is a condition which causes the joints in your body to become inflamed, it is termed an inflammatory arthritis. In an inflammatory arthritis like yours, the central problem is inflammation, mainly in the spine. An inflamed joint is swollen, red and warm to touch. It is also painful. Inflammation is part of the body's natural defences or immune defences and in most diseases inflammation serves a positive purpose. It helps the body to cope with an upset such as an infection. If you cut your hand while gardening for instance and it becomes infected with some bugs or bacteria, a red swollen area of inflammation will develop around the wound. As the wound heals, the inflammation dies away. Our immune system protects us from bugs, bacteria and viruses. In simple terms, all cells have a substance on their surface called antigens. And all cells in your body have the same surface antigens. It's as if they're all wearing a name badge with your name on it, so that your body knows that these cells are not invaders from outside. If a cell is found in your body with a different antigen, or name badge, an intruder, like a bacteria or a virus for instance, your immune system will produce antibodies and killer cells to attack it. This attack is called an immune response. During an immune response, your blood delivers lots of antibodies and killer cells to where the bacteria or virus cells have been found. This process is described as an inflammatory response and it causes the area to become warm and swollen. However, when the immune system attacks parts of the body instead of protecting them, it's called an autoimmune reaction and doctors don't fully understand why this occurs. In an autoimmune reaction, the body thinks that some of its own cells are intruders because for some reason it doesn't recognize their antigens or name badge and wrongly attacks them. In certain types of arthritis, including AS, an autoimmune reaction occurs mainly in the joints, and the joints in the spine in particular, so that they become red and swollen or inflamed. This inflammation is what causes the damage. It can come and go, causing flare-ups which can persist for a long time. During a flare-up, the autoimmune reaction can affect other parts of the body also, and you may feel generally unwell. Part of the treatment for autoimmune disease can be to take medication which suppresses or blocks your immune system. These are called immunosuppressants. They suppress the autoimmune reaction, which is good because they stop your antibodies attacking your joints. However, they also block your ordinary immune response and you can therefore pick up infections more easily. This is discussed again in Module 3. In order to understand more about AS, it is helpful to know how the joints in your spine work. Your spine, or vertebral column, is made up of a stack of bones, sitting one on top of the other, called vertebrae. There are 33 in total, though only 24 of them can move and allow you to bend and flex. The other nine which are at the base of the column, 
are fused together to form your sacrum and coccyx bones. Due to their shape, vertebrae lock into each other, and at each contact point, they form a small joint called facet joints. It is these small facet joints which are mainly affected in AS. Inflammation starts at the edges of the small facet joints between the vertebrae, and as a result of this inflammation, scar tissue forms in the joint between the two bones, making it stiff. The scar tissue may eventually turn into bone and fill the space in the joint. If this happens, the joint becomes fused, which limits movement of the spine. At the moment, it is not known exactly what causes AS. However, a combination of what are termed environmental factors, such as infections, and genetic factors, such as a family history, may make you more likely to develop AS. AS generally begins with pain, ache and stiffness, usually in the lower back, worsening over weeks or months. Pain and stiffness is worse in the mornings and during the night, but may improve with light exercise. After a number of weeks, the pain will generally go, then reappear, possibly further up the back. Movements of the chest may also be limited. These bouts of pain and stiffness may come and go over a number of years, and eventually the inflammation will die down, though the restriction of spine and chest movement persists. Although it mainly affects the spine, AS can also cause pain and swelling in the shoulders, hips, knees, heels, chest and ribs, and small joints of the hands and feet. As with other inflammatory diseases, there can be bouts of overwhelming fatigue. In addition, the eyes may become painful and bloodshot. This inflammation is called iritis and needs immediate treatment to prevent any permanent damage. The heart and lungs can be affected also. The severity of AS symptoms varies greatly. Some people will have mild neck or back pain and discomfort for short periods. Others will have severe pain and stiffness in several parts of the body over a long period of time. In severe cases, AS can seriously impact on everyday life and lead to disability. The amount of damage done by the disease depends on how long you have the disease and how active it is. Most people have some pain and discomfort, but manage a full daily routine. For others with more severe disease, the spinal restriction and inflammation in other joints can be disabling.